Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today we are going to be doing lip swatches. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I have a playlist of all of my lip swatch videos. I will link it in the cards. But today we are going to be swatching the L'Oreal Rouge Signature Lightweight Matte Lip Stain. That is a mouthful. But these are not new to the market. They've been out for a while. They're just new to me. I've always seen them and I haven't tried them out yet, but I thought I would swatch these eight shades. Let me see how many shades shades they have total. Okay, I guess there's over 20 other shades available, but these are specifically from the Parisian Sunset Collection, and I believe they came out in the summer of 2019. So these are like a lightweight matte lip stain with the pigmentation of a liquid lip. It's supposed to have high pigment, matte finish, and it's long lasting. So from the sounds of it, these are supposed to leave some sort of stain on my poor lips. So so say a prayer for me and let's go ahead and get started. So in this specific collection, it looks like there are a couple of nice neutrals as well as some really bold shades and some vibrant fun ones too. The first shade is Eye Saver and this looks like it matches my backdrop. It's a vibrant pastel pink. The applicator on this is a pretty good size. It does have an angle to it, which is nice because that always helps to kind of contour around your lips. And it is more of a flat doe foot applicator it has a nice point, which again helps the precision of application. It does kind of have a slight scent. I can't really put my finger on it, but I don't have anything on my lips right now. Let's go ahead and apply and see how it looks. It does feel really nice and lightweight when you first apply it. It's not sticky at all. It almost has like a velvety finish to it, but it is still a liquid lip product. And this is just one swipe with the applicator. I didn't go back for more products. I feel like this is pretty good pigmentation. It's all over the lips very evenly, but I am going to go over it just one more time. I think because the applicator is a little bit more flat, it doesn't pick up a ton of product, but it was enough to cover my lips all around. I just feel like I need two applications of it just to make sure. Okay, and these are supposed to be staining, so now let's see how well I can remove them. Okay. It's not bad, actually. I thought it would be much harder. It's coming off with a little bit of micellar water. The next shade is a very vibrant orangey red. This one is called I Radiate. It is so bright. It's really weird how lightweight and liquidy these feel, but they do definitely have a soft matte finish. I do think I prefer to go over the lips twice, though. I feel like this is a really unique formula because it is not drying at all on the lips. It's exactly how they explain it. It's very lightweight and comfortable feeling. Let's see if it's transfer proof. Okay, it looks like a little bit of it did come off if you can see on the back of my hand there. Let's just sit for a few more minutes and see if it gets dry. Okay, it feels a little bit more dry now. Let's see. There's still a tiny, tiny bit of transfer, so it's not completely transfer proof, but on the lips, it still looks really good. It doesn't look like it's budged at all. Damn it, this one looks like it's stained a lot more. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of concealer on my lips. So next I have ID side, and this looks like a pinky red. I use the top and the bottom of the applicator just to get the most out of the first application. Y'all, my lips, and this is like the third shade. These are really staining the hell out of my lips. Next shade is I Choose, and this looks like a mauve pink. Okay, I just wanna say I really, really like this applicator so far, especially the point. It's making this apply so easily and so precise because I can really shape my lips with it. Also, you guys probably guessed it, but I love this shade. This is right up my alley. It's a little bit more of a terracotta pink and this one was a little bit more opaque compared to the other shades so far. I didn't go over it twice and I feel like it looks really good. Now we're getting into some of the neutrals. This one is called I Tease. This looks like a warm nudie brown. This one matches my look so well today. It's just nice and neutral. And again, with this shade, I did not go over it twice and I feel like it looks a little bit more opaque than the rest of the brighter pink shades. Next is I Amaze. And this one looks like a really warm like brick brown red. It's actually kind of got a little bit of like a burnt orange to it as well. I think 
for me and against my skin tone, I think it's a little bit too warm and orangey. We have two shades left. Next is I Lead, and this looks like a deeper, more red version of the last shade. And I mentioned there's like a light scent to it. I can't really put my finger on it. It's like kind of florally, but it's so faint. And thank God, because I really don't like scents in my lip products. So I feel like this is not something that you'll really notice very much and it, it fades away. Last shade is I Captivate. This is a very deep, plummy purple. This shade probably applied the worst. I feel like you can see every stroke of the application and it went on really patchy. Like I can definitely see my lips through the color in some areas and you can just tell it's not very even on the lips. I don't know really why this shade along with the like pinky reds kind of did the same thing. I gotta take this off because it's gonna stain my lips. This one also left the worst stain on my lips. I look like that guy from Monsters, Inc. Chapstick, chapstick. By the way, the Drunk Elephant Lip Balm is amazing. It saves my life. Those are all eight shades of the L'Oreal Rouge Signature Liquid Lipstick. So I have to say comfort-wise, these liquid lipsticks felt great on the lips. It wasn't drying. It was really light like it says. It didn't have that like stiff or sticky feeling to it either. So I really, really like that. And I do think the color pigmentation is really nice. Some of the shades were not as consistent with the others when applying them, but it was nothing crazy and nothing that couldn't be fixed with another application. I do wish there was some kind of like divot to the applicator so that it could pick up more product because I felt like I needed to go in twice. And so maybe if it were a little bit different, it could deposit more product on your lips the first time. I am curious about the other 20 something shades. I had no idea there were so many out there. So let me know in the comments down below if you've tried these and which ones are your favorite shades. It's kind of cool that it does leave a stain on your lips because usually when your liquid lips wear off, like in the center of your lips where it leaves like a naked butthole ring, it looks awful. But this leaving like a slight stain, it still looks okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a like. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my videos. Check out my other Lip Swatch videos that are linked in the cards. And if you want to catch up with me on my other social media, those are linked down below for my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!